Hey guys, Flo here with yet another episode of the Napoli Career Mode series. We have a big Europa League match here against PSV. Off and the game is underway. Sit back and enjoy. It should be 90 minutes of fabulous football. And here's some support down the middle for it. Well executed. Here's the shot. He's had a crack. He shoots. Ball still alive. Possession. Cavani. I've got to keep an eye on him because he is so good in front of goal. He's going to shoot now, teed up beautifully by the player on the ball. Edison Cavani trying to get to another shot. He's going to shoot. And well, he's tried to really. It's probably top save. And he heads it for goal. It's a great chance. Here he is with the chip. He takes the shot. The Santis. Wonderful save. Keepers kept it at nil-nil. Referee's given a corner. Zuniga. Surely. Now here is a chance for them. Magnificent goal, and it has been coming. He's got space. It's a terrible got to be. Oh, the shot was blocked. And hits it. Oh, terrific reactions from the goalkeeper, which has been contested right from the first whistle. And we're coming towards the last whistle. One eye on the clock, and both eyes now on the ball, and the breakaway for them here. And here's the shot. Well, that goalkeeper is doing his job. Here's a chance from the wide position to get it in. Keeping the move, tries his luck, he's got a score! The manager nailed his colours to the mask with a very attacking team selection, Alan, and look at the scoreline, it justifies that. Very satisfied with that win, we are now in front of Group F, and more important, we are playing good football. The papers are acknowledging Cavani's performance, and they also talk about how my defence is old and needs replacement. We already talked about that, no surprise there. News just catching on my words. Hi there, everybody. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. In the commentary box, it's uh, with great view up here, Alan. And We're underway. They're passing it well here. And the shot's up. Found space in the wide areas to get across it. And it's a header. To make that save here, he's got a chance to cross. And here's the shot. Well, the keeper got a touch to it to make the save. Pass one defender. That's well, a great chance. Seen the chance. What a good way to score. Them to take that quickly. Quick ball. Teammate three in the centre. Right up. Here's a shot. With this goal advantage. They've now got a corner. And now a look at the possession to this point. He takes the shot. Our terrific reactions. Good first half performance here really reflected on the scoreline. Oh yeah, I mean the game's not won yet, Martin, but if they carry on like this in the second half, I think they will win it. Goal nears from Inter. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Inter. 56 minutes. Great lead for the header. It's come back off the post. Safe hands from the keeper from that shot. Good ball. A goal from uh, Siena. It's a goal for Siena. 66 minutes. It's a penalty here. Oh, 
What a cheeky attempt. Sensational save. Oh, that's a really important stop. Brilliant. Good position here. So dangerous. Well, he has a go. Well, that goalkeeper is doing his job to try and get them back into this match. And here's the header. It's an amazing game. It's an amazing goal and an amazing time. Game over. 1-1. One, one. Lost some important points there against Pescara, last position in the championship before this fixture. Goal in the last minute, really bad result for the morale as well, seeing how in the next match we'll be facing Inter, number one spot in the league. Until then, let's answer some questions in the press room. Two great topics to discuss today. First question comes from Mir Lesnar and he wants to know what's my opinion regarding the hazard incident when he kicked the kid for the ball. First of all, he didn't hit the kid, he obviously goes for the ball, but more importantly, how do you want to react when a kid is shielding the ball trying to buy some time for his team? The boy has a single mission, to get the ball back into play as fast as possible, but he doesn't. I'm not saying that the Belgian player reacted as he should have, but at the same time it's hard not to understand Hazard. The kid asked for it. Second question comes from Harvey Robol. Do you think Mourinho will return to the Premiership and if he did, would he be successful? He will definitely come back to the BPL. He said it time and time again that he loves English football. In my opinion, he'll go to Manchester United just because he has a great relationship with Sir Alex Ferguson. They always respected each other even when they were rivals. At this point Mourinho doesn't have anything to prove. Everywhere he went, he did a fantastic job. What remains for him to do is to become a legend and how else to do this but replace the legend himself. That's just my predictions. Will he be successful? Definitely. He will because he'll enjoy himself managing an English side. That's the main reason why he doesn't have the best result at the moment with Real Madrid. Because he doesn't enjoy himself. He is not happy there anymore. Anyway, these were my thoughts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to ask your questions. If I'll answer them in the next episode, I'll let you know. If you enjoyed yourself, drop a like, it really helps. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time.